Play the golf tour. We fed, first met Phil uh, for an uh, audition for our Pride show, Born This Way. It was obvious from the very beginning he had a gift of story, but knowing that he's very thoughtful, he's funny, and he works really hard, but makes it all look very easy. LA's loss, our game. Please help me welcome Phil Branch.
for like six minutes, I could tend to be turned on by whatever chat we were having, and it would all end in some sort of digital climax. And this courtship lasted an eternity, about two weeks. And we decided to take it to the next level and do the drive-by. You know, where you don't really do an actual date, you just want to make sure that the pictures are real and see if you want to take it any further. So we decided to meet at his job. And I show up, and he's there, and we just kind of walk past each other and nod. It worked. So we decided to do an actual date, one where we had real contact, and we decided to go to dinner and a movie. And we went to the movies to see one of those Wayne's Brothers films that I would never see with somebody my own age, and it was sold out. So on the way across the parking lot, to go eat, he takes out his phone to call his mother. He was gonna be late for his curfew. My 19 year old day had a curfew. I wanted to run, but I was in too deep and I didn't want to hurt his feelings, so we went ahead to Applebee's and he ordered the chicken tenders in the milkshake. And Up until that point, I had been trying to make sense of the relationship, but watching a 19-year-old happily eat tenders, I had to face certain truths. And to make matters worse, the restaurant was packed, and we had been lucky to get a booth pretty quickly, and these two kids bombarded our booth, and they were friends of his who were still in high school. And they're asking him tons of questions about college, how are the girls, how are the classes, and I am completely invisible. They don't speak, I'm basically not there. And a few moments later, Greg realizes that he's being rude, and he looks over to his friends and says, guys, this is Phil, my uncle. I immediately found a therapist. But, even with the help of a mental health professional, I had a hard time finding balance. I went from 19-year-old Greg to exclusively dating guys who had greater balls than I did. I changed all my age search filters on like the websites from 18 to 40 to start at 41. And it made me feel worse. Like, there are like 9 million pages of men from 18 to 40. And there were seven and a half guys who were over 41. <laughs> Where was everybody? Were they partnered? Were they dying? Could, could old men just not afford the internet? It, it scared me. And I just didn't know if I had a future. I didn't know what was going to happen. I mean, it seemed like you can grow up and go from MTV to watching PBS, but there really wasn't a place for you after you left the pubs and left the bars. A few months ago, I was on a vacation and decided to go to the hotel gym. I had eaten way too much. And I stepped on the treadmill and I pressed start and it asked me in big, bold, red, pixelated letters, what's your age? and I freeze. And my birthday had been a few weeks before, and I didn't celebrate it. It almost felt like I didn't even have a birthday. And as I'm standing there on the treadmill, this thing is like flashing. What's your age? What's your age? What's your age? And I take a breath and type 41. And I'm still here. I, I didn't disappear, and I even found another unicorn and married him. But I still don't know where everyone else ends up. It seems like the greater you get, the more you disappear, the more you fade away. But who knows? Maybe they're all like me and my hubby, sitting at home on the couch, watching House Hunters. Thank you.